Hi friends, welcome to today's class. Today's topic is construction of Galois field. That is, Galois field of P raised to M. As an extended Galois field, Galois field of P raised to M is a field with elements as polynomials of degree less than M over Galois field of P. Okay, so Galois field of P is the GF of P. So, the extended version of GF of P is GF of P raised to M. So, this is a field which has an element as polynomials of degree less than M. It is in the form of polynomial. Since we are dealing with binary field, Galois field of 2, that is GF of 2 polynomials over the field can be considered. Okay. Since we are considering binary field, we are using GF of 2. Okay. Then two representation of polynomials are power representation and polynomial representation. For, for power representation used for multiplication and polynomial representation is used for addition. Okay. The power representation uh, we can represent as uh, starting from 0, 0, 1, alpha. If it is binary, it will stop with a 0, 1. Okay. If it is, uh, if, if GF of 4, if it is 4, then we can represent 0, 1, alpha, alpha square. So, in power representation, it can be represented as 0, 1, alpha, alpha square, alpha cube, etc. So, it is called power representation. This is used for multiplication. Then polynomial representation means it is represented as polynomial and it is used for addition. That is 0, 1, x, 1 plus x, x square, likewise, it goes likewise, okay. Now, we have two representation for extended field. Using polynomial representation, we can do addition and using power representation, we can do multiplication. Such a representation is called extended field that is Galois field of P raised to M. Okay. Now, uh, consider an example Galois field of 2 raised to M over Galois field of 2. Such field that is P equal to 2. Galois field of 2 is called ground field. Okay. When m equal to 1, this is, now we are considering the binary term. Since we are using binary term, so we are using Galois field of, instead of p raised to m, here we are using p equal to 2, then Galois field of 2 raised to m. You are using Galois field of 2 raised to m. If m equal to 1 is the base model, so this m equal to 1, then Galois field of 2 raised to m is equal to Galois field of 2. This is called a ground field. Okay. Now, we can consider uh, another example, Galois field of 4. Then GF of 4 is equal to GF of 2 square. That is P raised to m means 2, 2 square. Here P is equal to 2 and m equal to 2. Okay. So, <coughs> in modulo 2 addition, polynomial representation, that is field F is equal to here field F can, Galois field or field F can be represented by polynomial representation as, uh, by using polynomial representation we can find modulo to addition, okay. So by polynomial representation, since it is GF of 4, here we have 4 elements, okay. So in polynomial representation F is equal to 0, 1, x, 1 plus x. So we stop there. Because we did only 4 elements, 0, 1, x, 1 plus x. Okay. Now, we are doing uh, modular 2 addition. So, we have 0, 1, x, 1 plus x. And by adding this, we get by adding 0 plus 0, we get 0. 0 plus 1, we get 1. 0 plus x, we get x. And 0 plus 1 plus x, we get 1 plus x. Okay. Now, by adding with the 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 plus 1. Modulo to addition, if same numbers, uh, number, same number addition is equal to 0. So, 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 plus x, we have 1 plus x. Then 1 plus 1 plus x. That is, we have 1 plus 1 plus x. Okay. So, which means uh, 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 plus x will be x. So, we get x. Here, 0 plus x, this is x. This is 1 plus x. Then x plus x. Here, x plus x. That is x plus x means same numbers are, if same numbers came, it will equal to 0. So, x plus x equal to 0. Then next we have 1 plus x plus x. So, x plus is 0, then we get 1. Then here 1 plus x plus 0, that is 1 plus x. 1 plus x plus 1. So, 1 plus 1 will become 0, then we have x here. Then next, 1 plus x uh, plus x. Then x plus x will become 0, then we have 1 here. 
then next last term 1 plus x plus 1 plus x so both are same so which is equal to 0 this is modulo to addition here additive identity that is this is the input term this is the input the same output come here okay 0 1 x 1 plus x so here additive identity is so the additive identity is 0 okay now modulo to multiplication or power representation which is used for multiplication power representation is used for multiplication then we have f is equal to four elements as 0 1 alpha alpha square okay now multiplication is done 0 1 alpha alpha square 0 1 alpha alpha square okay now by multiplying 0 with this term this all will be 0 okay then multiplying 1 with this term we get the same number that is 0 1 alpha alpha square in third row <coughs> and we multiply 0 with alpha we get 0 1 with alpha we get alpha alpha into alpha we get alpha square so this can be uh, this can be uh, calculated uh, after some time okay so alpha square into 0 that is 0 1 into alpha square is alpha square alpha into alpha square okay so we want to find so we want to find alpha cube and alpha raised to 4 okay here it is coming alpha into alpha square is alpha cube and here it is alpha into alpha square is alpha cube and here is alpha raised to 4 so this term we need to find so alpha cube and alpha raised to 4 for that purpose we are using a primitive polynomial or irreducible polynomial okay consider a p of x is a primitive polynomial or irreducible polynomial that polynomial is irreducible or prime polynomial of degree m so here m equal to 2 since m equal to 2 here the value of m equal to 2 so we already know m equal to 2 since it is m equal to 2 the power will be 2 so p of x is equal to x square plus x plus 1 this is the primitive polynomial let alpha be the root of the polynomial then x equal to alpha therefore we have we put x equal to alpha then p of alpha is equal to alpha square plus alpha plus 1 from this we can find alpha square is equal to 1 plus alpha here we have modulo to addition so no need of considering negative sign okay so alpha square is equal to 1 plus alpha then we get alpha cube alpha cube is equal to alpha into alpha square so instead of alpha square we are writing 1 plus alpha then alpha into 1 plus alpha then opening this bracket we get alpha plus alpha square then uh, for this alpha square we are applying 1 plus alpha so we have alpha plus 1 plus alpha so alpha alpha is repeating so we get 1 so instead of alpha cube we will get 1 then we want to find alpha raised to okay alpha raised to 4 for alpha raised to 4 we have alpha cube into alpha so we have alpha cube equal to 1 so 1 into alpha so we get alpha so instead of alpha cube we get 1 and alpha raised to 4 we get alpha so this can be right in the previous case alpha raised to cube in the place of alpha raised to cube we can write 1 and in the place of alpha raised to 4 we can write alpha okay now we can represent this in a box okay first polynomial representation power representation and equivalent binary we have polynomial representation as 0 1 x 1 plus x power representation as 0 1 alpha alpha square then we can write the binary so we are considering binary as 1 plus x okay so here it is 0 0 means in the place of 1 in the place of x it is 0 so we have 0 0 then next we have 1 so we have 1 here place of 0 it is 0 so 1 0 x here so we have x the place of 1 we have 0 so 0 1 okay then we have 1 pluses 1 plus x means we have 1 1 as the binary so this is how we are calculating binary now that's all about uh, <coughs> Galois field construction okay so we have constructed Galois field of 4 gf of 4 now we can construct for gf of 
8 that is gf of 2 raised to 3 ok. So, this is a simple examples for construction of Galois field. Now, uh, we are dealing with another section that is scalars and vectors. Consider an ordered sequence of n components a1, a0, a1, a2, etc., a n minus 1, where each element in the sequence is a Galois field of 2. Such an ordered sequence is called n tuple over Galois field of 2, or simply we can say vectors. So, what are scalars and what are vectors? Scalars are simply a binary number, maybe it's 0, 1, etc. But vectors are not like that. Vectors have an ordered sequence. If uh, we have a 3 bit binary, it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So it has some order. So that ordered sequence is called the vectors. So a 2 bit binary, we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. It is a 2 bit vector. Okay. So it is an ordered vector. So a vector is nothing but a ordered sequence of binary or numbers is called a vector. Okay, then next we have addition of vectors. For any vector u equal to u0, u1, etc., un minus 1, and v equal to v0, u1, etc., vn minus 1. So u is a vector, v is a vector. Addition is defined as u plus v is equal to. We are adding, <coughs> we are taking the position. Here, if, if we are considering vector, we need to consider the position and the magnitude and the magnitude and the position of the number. So, we are considering if we add u plus v, we are not adding with the u0 to u v1. We are only add with u0 plus v0, then u1 plus v1, then u2 plus v2, etc. u n minus 1 plus v n minus 1. So, we are considering the position also. Okay. For example, we are considering we choose v4. v4 means 4 bit vector. So, here u is equal to 1 0 1 0 and v equal to 0 1 1 0. So, by adding this u plus v is equal to we are adding from 0th position of u with the 0th position of v, first position of u with the first position of v. Okay. So, this is a position is there in the case of vector. So, 1 plus 0 we have 1, 0 plus 1 we have. So, add these terms 1 plus 1 we have 1, 0 plus 1 1 and 1 plus 1 0, 0 plus 0 0. So, the answer is 1 1 0 0. Okay. If u plus v are any two vectors in Vn, u plus v is equal to 0, then u equal to v. Okay. If the vectors u plus v, we already know that in the modulo 2 addition, when it becomes 0, the product becomes 0 only when u equal to v. That is 0 0 and 1 1. At the time of 0 0 and 1 1, the answer will be 0. So, if u plus v equal to 0 0, then u will be equal to v. Okay. The next scalar multiplication. Let A is an element of Galois field 2. This is A. Okay. A element of Galois field of 2. Let u be an element of vector Vn. So, V vector can be represented as Vn or V. And A is an element in Galois field of 2. That is field. A, the scalars are represented in field and vectors are represented in vector vn. Then we have a into u. Here a is a scalar. Then a into u is equal to we can multiply a with each term that is a into u comma u0 comma a into u1 comma etc. a into un minus 1. This is scalar multiplication. Then next we have vector space v. Let v be the set of elements on which a binary operation addition is defined or let f, so v is a vector space, so v denotes the vector space and f be a fixed multiplication operation or f is a scalar space, okay, first between elements f and v are defined, then f is a scalar group, scalar set of elements and v is a vector set, vector field, okay, vector space, then we have the set v is called a vector space if, okay, then set v a, a v is called vector space, then the following properties should be satisfied. It is an important topic, vector space. A vector space means v is a set of elements which, has, uh, which is defined as the operation modulo to addition and f is a fixed multiplication operation. Then set v is called a vector space if 
it satisfies these four properties first property is v is commutative under addition okay we know that what is commutative okay that is if uh, small letter u and small letter v is two elements of v then u plus v is equal to v plus u that is it should be commutative the second property is for any element a in f so every time we are taking scalars from f okay field any element a in f it's a scalar and u in v it's a vector then a into u a scalar into vector is an element of vector so if we multiply any scalar with a vector element the answer will be inside the vector okay vector space then the third property is for any element uh, it's also called a, a closure property of a k okay so if we multiply any scalar with the vector in vector space the answer will be inside the vector space okay so it's a closure property for any element a and b in f that is a two scalars and any two vectors u v element of v that is capital v vector space then a dot u plus v is equal to a dot u plus a dot v also a plus b into u is equal to a dot u plus b dot u so this is distributive property okay then the fourth property is for any vector u element of v and a scalar a and b element of f then a into b into u is equal to a into b into u it's a associative property so if a set of elements is said to be vector space it should satisfy these four uh, properties that is a commutative under addition and it is closure that is if you are uh, multiplying a scalar with a vector the answer will be inside the vector space should be inside the vector space then the third is it's a distribute it should satisfy a distributive property where a and b in f and u and v in v vector and it's also satisfy should satisfy associative property let a and b in e element of f and u in v okay so these are the properties of vector space now next is subspace that is capital s a subspace sorry a subspace is a set containing some elements of vector space vn which will satisfy the properties of vector space or it is a subset of vn that is subspace is nothing but subspace s is nothing but it's a subset of v so v is a full set of a number then s is a a portion of subspace V. Okay, that is subset of V. A set S is called the subspace of Vn if the first property is let a subset is a subspace is a subspace of Vn. Let S is an any element is a subspace of Vn. It is satisfied these two properties. First property is for any two vectors u and v element of S, then u plus v is also a vector in S. Okay, that's the first property. That is closure property. Then for any scalar a in f and any vector u in s, then a into u is an element of s. These are the two properties which says n a set s is subspace of v. Okay, that is vector space. So this is an example. S is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. This is a subspace S belong to the family of vector V5. Vector V5 means 5-bit binary value. Along the whole 5-bit binary value, these are these four terms are a subspace of vector space Vn. Okay. Then linear combination of vectors. Let u0, u1, etc., u n minus 1, the vectors a0, a1, etc., a n minus 1 be the scalar. So u0 to u n minus 1 be the vectors and a0 to n minus 1 be the scalar. Then the linear combination means multiplying both that is a0, u0 plus u1, a1 plus u2, a2 plus etc. plus u n minus 1, a n minus 1. This is the linear combination of vectors. Then basis of vector. Basis of vector is nothing but consider the vector space V3. V3 means vector space V3 means 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 up to 1, 1, 1. Okay. Let u be the vector in V3. Then u1 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 0. Let it u1, u2, u3 are this. Then by multiplying a linear combination, we have a u1 plus b u2 plus c u2, u3. So we can uh, give any value to a, b and c. 
if a b and c all are zero then we are multiplying each with a zero and we get zero as the answer here a equal to zero b equal to one c equal to zero so we have the central portion that is b portion uh, was not zero other a portion and c portion will be zero that is a into that is zero into zero zero one will become zero one into zero and zero plus zero into one zero zero so we have since b equal to one we have the second term as zero one zero so we can select each term that is basis of factor okay basis means a set of vectors whose linear combination can produce all vectors in the vector space that is we can produce all vectors in the vector space if we want to produce this vector we can uh, multiply it with the one zero zero if we if you want to produce the third vector we can multiply it with the, uh, the scalars zero zero one so we can produce each vectors from vector space that is called the basis of a vector if such a set exists the set is said to be span of vector space the number of factors in the basis of vs is called the dimension of vs so number of factors is called its dimension here we have three vectors so its dimension is three likewise okay now what is orthogonal vector u is equal to let a vector u equal to u0 u1 etc un minus 1 and v equal to v0 v1 etc vn minus 1 then we are if we multiply these two u into v we get u0 v0 u1 v1 etc un minus 1 vn minus 1 this is called the linear product okay and u and v are said to be orthogonal if you are multiplying these two this is linear product then u and v are said to be linear uh, orthogonal if u dot v equal to 0 so this is the uh, condition for orthogonal vector that is u is a vector then v is a vector if u and v is said to be orthogonal vector if and only if u dot v equal to 0 then a null space null space is nothing but a zero vector that is let s be a subspace of vn s be a subspace of vn then vector u be an element of s so uh, there is a vector space vn and s is the subset of this vector space and u is an element of this s and v is an element of another subset that is sd then u dot v equal to zero which means that any of the set is zero such set is called null space of the null space of s that is a set with the zero element is called null space okay so that's all about today's class thank you